started in that game. Those are the only three who are on the field today. And in fact, Corzin scored one of the goals in a 2-2 tie. That was a game that we were winning 2-1 with a little under two minutes to go. And Ramon Ramirez, who's playing for the Mexicans today, got the equalizer for Mexico, which actually officially put them through the World, World Cup uh, in France 98. Mexico pushing forward here now. Ramon Ramirez and a shot and a goal. A goal for Mexico right there on that shot by Ramon Ramirez. And Ramon Ramirez normally stands on his right foot. I've never, I've very rarely seen him kick the ball with his right foot. But a great bit of individual skill and he buries it past Craig Forrest. And Ramon Ramirez, remember, is a left fullback. So he's ventured a long way forward. Well, there's two or three of the, these guys on the Mexican team who seem to play wherever they seem to want to play at the time, wherever the ball is. And right there, it's Ramirez. And three Canadian defenders around him, and he manages to squeeze in between them and hit it in at the near post against Craig Forrest. And that's the first shot that Mexico have had on goal. Ramirez gets it in tight quarters. Maybe the Mex or maybe the Canadian defenders were thinking, let's force him onto his right foot. Jason DeVos just a little unlucky not to get a, a last-minute tackle at that time. Ogorosiak said he loved the way Stalteri played midfield in the friendly games in Bermuda and Trinidad and Tobago in January, but I think it is fair to say he has struggled here. Ooh, there's a header and a oh. goal for Canada! And this game is tied with less than 10 minutes to go, Canada and Mexico. It looked like Carlo Corazon. Oscar Perez stunned here in the late going. This entire crowd stunned here, and I think it was Corazon who came up there to tie this match for Canada. Great ball from Martin Nash. And Carlo Corazon free in the box, nicely into the corner of the net, giving Perez no chance on that header. And so Canada has three goals in this tournament. Carlo Corazon has every one of them. And certainly Holger Oshik is looking very good right now, having inserted Martin Nash into the game. He puts over a great cross that Carlo Corazon gets in between three Mexican defenders and finds the corner of the net. So hang on to your hats, folks. We're not done yet. Canada and... That was a good-looking cross when it started out, but it didn't get all the way through, and it's knocked away. And here comes Martin Nash with lots of room, and he's got Garrett Cush, and he's also got Richard Hastings, and here comes Hastings, if he can get a shot at it, and he scores oh. for Canada! <laughs> Richard Hastings has won it for Canada, who are through to the semifinals. Do you believe it? And Martin Nash with, a, again... The cross from the right and found Richard Hastings, who had a great first touch and roofed it. Unbelievable turn of events. Canada, unbeaten in nine, have just knocked off the 10th ranked country in the world. Oscar Perez is stupefied. <laughs> and so he should be. And let's, let me suggest this. Not only have Canada won, but both goals were quality goals. Both resulted from Martin Nash's ability to find players and certainly, again, from Holger Oshik's point of view. And here we see Martin Nash with a great ball out to the left. And look at the first touch from Richard Hastings. Into his path, doesn't have to take another touch. Up and into the roof of the net. Canada are on to the semifinals. They can't play football in this country, you say? Ask the Mexicans that now after looking at this. Richard Hastings, a great shot on a great feed. My goodness. And so the final score here today from Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, Canada 2, Mexico 1. That's the truth. Back in a minute.